If you've ever finished a run only to find yourself struggling with a nagging cough afterward, you're not alone. For many people, especially those who are just starting an exercise routine or pushing their cardiovascular limits, coughing after running can be an unexpected and uncomfortable experience. It's often a dry, tickling cough that doesn't seem to go away easily and may persist for minutes or even hours after the activity ends. This symptom may seem minor at first, but if it happens regularly, it's worth exploring more deeply. Why does it happen? What does it mean about your lungs or your health? And most importantly, what can you do about it? In this video, we'll break down the causes, treatment options, and prevention strategies for post-run coughing so you can get back to running confidently without worrying about what happens when you stop. So be sure to watch until the end to learn about the most effective prevention strategies. To start, it helps to understand that coughing after running is not always a sign of a serious health issue. In many cases, it's a natural reaction to the intense effort of breathing hard, especially in cold or dry air. When you exercise, your breathing rate increases significantly. Your lungs and airways have to work overtime to bring in oxygen and remove carbon dioxide. This rapid airflow can dry out the sensitive lining of your airways and lead to irritation, which in turn triggers a cough. For runners in colder climates or during the winter season, cold air can further aggravate the airways, causing them to constrict and respond with coughing. It's similar to the sensation of breathing in deeply on a chilly day. Your lungs feel a little tight, and you may cough instinctively. Multiply that by the effort of a sustained run, and it's easy to see why the coughing can become persistent. Another major cause of coughing after running is a condition known as exercise-induced bronchoconstriction, or EIB. It's sometimes called exercise-induced asthma, although it can occur in people who don't have traditional asthma. EIB happens when the airways in the lungs temporarily narrow during or after exercise, leading to symptoms like coughing, wheezing, chest tightness, and shortness of breath. The exact cause isn't fully understood, but it's believed that rapid breathing during exercise causes the airways to cool and dry out, which then triggers inflammation and muscle tightening in the bronchial tubes. For people with EIB, coughing is often the most prominent symptom and may begin during the workout or shortly afterward. It may seem mild at first, but can quickly become a barrier to consistent training if left unaddressed. Even for people without EIB, Running in environments with poor air quality, such as high pollution levels, smoke, allergens, or even airborne irritants like dust and pollen, can provoke post-run coughing. When you run, you take in more air than normal and often breathe through your mouth, bypassing some of the filtration your nose typically provides. This means more particles and irritants reach the lower respiratory tract, where they can cause inflammation and trigger a cough. If you find that your coughing worsens on certain days or in particular environments, it could be your body's way of reacting to airborne contaminants rather than the running itself. It's also important to consider whether your hydration level plays a role. Dehydration can dry out the mucosal linings of the respiratory tract, making them more sensitive during and after exercise. Combine this with dry outdoor air or heated indoor environments, and your airway tissues may become irritated enough to provoke a post-run cough. This is especially true for long-distance runners or those training in hot climates, where fluid loss through sweat is high and not always replenished during the workout. The lack of moisture in the airway can lead to that persistent dry, scratchy feeling that makes you cough without relief. In some cases, coughing after running can be a sign of an underlying respiratory infection. If you've recently had a cold, flu, or other respiratory illness, your airways may still be inflamed or sensitive. Even if you feel fine during everyday activities, the increased demand of exercise can expose residual inflammation, leading to coughing fits. <laughs> Similarly, if you're recovering from bronchitis or pneumonia, your lungs may still be healing and more prone to irritation during physical activity. Pushing yourself too soon can re-trigger symptoms that seem to come out of nowhere. In these cases, it's best to listen to your body and ease back into exercise gradually. Chronic conditions like asthma, COPD, or even undiagnosed allergies may also play a role in post-run coughing. For individuals with mild or exercise-triggered asthma, 
The cough may be the only noticeable symptom, particularly in the early stages. Asthma-related coughing is typically dry and persistent, and it may be more prominent in cold air or after workouts. If you notice a pattern, such as always coughing after cardio sessions or experiencing tightness in your chest during cooldown, it's worth getting evaluated by a healthcare provider. They may perform a spirometry test or prescribe a bronchodilator inhaler to see if it helps relieve the symptoms. Now that we've covered the potential causes, let's talk about treatment options. If your coughing is occasional and clearly linked to environmental factors, such as running in the cold or near allergens, simple changes to your running routine might be all you need. Wearing a lightweight face covering or scarf in cold weather can help warm and humidify the air before it enters your lungs. Running in the early morning or late evening, when pollen counts and pollution levels are lower, can also reduce airway irritation. Staying well hydrated before, during, and after your workout helps keep the airways moist and reduces the likelihood of dry coughing spells. For those with suspected EIB or mild asthma, using a prescribed inhaler about 15 minutes before running can significantly reduce coughing episodes. These inhalers, usually containing a short-acting beta agonist like albuterol, work by relaxing the muscles around the airways and preventing bronchoconstriction. Some runners also benefit from taking a longer warm-up period before jumping into high-intensity running, as this can help gradually acclimate the lungs to increased airflow. If EIB is confirmed by your doctor, they may also prescribe daily maintenance medications, such as inhaled corticosteroids, to manage inflammation more effectively. If your post-run cough is related to allergies or post-nasal drip, managing those triggers with antihistamines, nasal sprays, or allergen avoidance can make a big difference. Nasal congestion and drainage can irritate the throat and upper airways, especially when combined with the heavier breathing required during running. Keeping your nasal passages clear and your sinuses hydrated can help minimize that tickle in your throat that often leads to a lingering cough after exercise. Saline sprays or a humidifier in your home can support this process, especially during dry seasons. In more stubborn cases, such as when a cough lingers for hours or interferes with your ability to continue training, you'll want to work closely with a healthcare provider to rule out more serious conditions. They may order a chest x-ray, pulmonary function tests, or even a referral to a pulmonologist for specialized evaluation. In rare instances, persistent coughing after exercise could signal something more complex, such as vocal cord dysfunction, chronic bronchitis, or even heart-related issues. Getting a proper diagnosis ensures you're not ignoring a potential red flag and that you're treating the root cause rather than just the symptom. Preventing coughing after running largely depends on being proactive about your environment, your preparation, and your body's needs. One of the most effective strategies is a thorough warm-up before you start running. By gradually increasing your heart rate and respiratory demand, you give your lungs and airways time to adjust. This warm-up can help prevent sudden bronchospasm or inflammation. Similarly, taking a few minutes to cool down and do some deep, controlled breathing after a run can help normalize your respiratory rate and prevent that abrupt post-exercise airway irritation. Monitoring air quality can also be a game-changer. If the air quality index is poor, consider shifting your workout indoors or delaying it until conditions improve. Running on a treadmill may not offer the same scenery as an outdoor jog, but it can help prevent exposure to pollutants that might otherwise irritate your lungs. Using an air purifier in your home, particularly in your bedroom, can also reduce your overall exposure to allergens, giving your lungs a break during non-exercise hours and making them less reactive during your next run. Finally, never underestimate the power of rest and recovery. If your cough worsens with every run, if you feel unusually fatigued, or if your lungs seem irritated all the time, it may be your body's way of telling you to slow down. Overtraining can lower your immune defenses and leave your airways more susceptible to inflammation. Taking a few days off, adjusting your training intensity, or cross-training with lower-impact activities like swimming or cycling can help keep you active without stressing your lungs. Building a strong base of aerobic fitness gradually instead of jumping into high-mileage weeks too soon is also key to keeping your respiratory system resilient. 
Whether it's caused by cold air, environmental irritants, exercise-induced bronchoconstriction, or an underlying medical condition, there are effective strategies to manage and prevent it. Identifying your specific triggers and tailoring your routine accordingly can go a long way toward reducing discomfort and protecting your lung health. With the right approach, you can stay active, improve your endurance, and breathe easier before, during, and after your run. Thank you for watching this deep dive into the causes, treatment, and prevention of coughing after running. If you found this helpful, be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with others who are working toward better health. Keep moving, keep breathing, and we'll see you in the next video.